So leave a comment down below if you guys remember the MagSafe Duo Charger that Apple released alongside the iPhone 12. The MagSafe Duo Charger was exactly what it sounded like. It was a charger that folded in half that could charge both your iPhone with MagSafe at the full 15 watts. But the one gripe with the MagSafe Duo, or actually there was a few gripes with the MagSafe Duo, first off was the starting price at $130. It was hard to justify a charger like that when you could go get a 3-in-1 charger for a lot less or at least $100 and kind of get the same quality. Secondly, it was the fact that it was lightning enabled, so you had to have a lightning cable to plug into that MagSafe Duo. So as the years went on, there was a lot more competition and there was a lot of third party manufacturers that started to create their own versions or their own competitors to that MagSafe Duo to give us a three in one travel solution at way cheaper prices. So what I wanted to do was test out some of these different alternatives and let you guys know which one the best one was and how much bang for your buck you would now get in 2024. So without further ado, let's talk about these charges that I've been testing out and I'll leave all these linked down in the description below because all these are great solutions. So I will say that I've been testing out these chargers for about six months now at this point or even longer because they have been trickling in and I wanted to make sure that I put it through its paces to make sure that A, they don't get warm to the touch, B, they last, and C, how the quality of life is when it comes to actually charging your iPhone, your AirPods, as well as your Apple Watch. And I've been using these travel chargers as kind of my main chargers day to day, especially on my nightstand, down in my living room, and things like that. So the first one I am gonna mention is the X55, and this one is only $38. So for $38, you get a three-in-one travel charger that folds up completely, that unfolds to lay flat, that allows you to prop it up and actually support standby mode, and you get the big three like I mentioned and all of these will be covering the big three when it comes to charging them So this one the x55 like I mentioned is $38 and it does support fast charging technically if you have something like a Samsung phone or an Android phone But you're only going to be getting 7.5 watt speeds of charging on your iPhone itself It does have a MagSafe compatible puck on there So it will attach magnetically and like I mentioned it does support actual standby mode if it is propped up correctly then you also have your Apple Watch charger, which charges at 2.5 watts. Then you have your Apple Watch charger, which does actually support 5 watt fast charging. And then you have your AirPods Pro charger, which is at 2.5 watts. And now the Apple Watch charger, not only can you lay it flat, but it also props up. So if you are using something like a solo band where it doesn't actually have a way to clasp on, and it's just one loop, you're still able to charge it without any issues. And I've seen a lot of chargers in the past kind of forget about this and forego this situation. So if you do have a charger that doesn't allow you to charge with that type of band, this is a good solution. And again, for $38, it's tough to beat. And then the cherry on top, and this is going to go for all these chargers that I'm mentioning moving forward, not only do they bring the charger itself, they obviously bring a USB-C to USB-C cable, but they also include a 20 watt charging brick in the packaging, and it brings a hard shell zipper carrying case for you to be carrying this on the go. Like for instance, I'm going to be bringing both of these with me when I go on a trip here in the next couple weeks, because I'm going to have one for my wife and one for myself, because we both carry an iPhone, an Apple Watch, as well as AirPods Pro. So being able to carry those and just kind of have that with us at all times at a hotel and things like that, and not have to worry about charging it is going to be amazing to see. But that one's the X55, and what you're kind of giving up here is mostly just build quality and build materials. You can tell that it's made out of plastic, like it does creak a little bit when you move it around and things like that. But when it comes to warmth and kind of quality, it still stays very cool to the touch. I charge my iPhone overnight. I use all three charging pads at the same time, and it divvies it up correctly. So I am getting my 7.5 watts on my iPhone, my 5 watts on my Apple Watch Ultra, and then my 2.5 watts on my AirPods Pro, and that's where the 20 watts are kicking in. Now, if you want to fully maximize it, and let's say you do have a Samsung phone with a MagSafe case or something like that, or maybe even a nothing phone, you're able to maximize it with a 30 watt break that you can purchase additionally if you do want to, to get that full 15 watts of charging, and then also be able to charge your auxiliary devices. And then one final thing about the X55 is that this one actually does completely lay flat, similar to the MagSafe Duo that we've seen in the past, whereas the other ones that we're gonna mention, even though they are more premium, they don't completely sit flush. You can still lay them flat, but they're not flush to whatever setting or whatever table that it's on. But then as we level up, then we have the X40. Now the X40 is relatively the same thing. It's still a three in one charger. It still lays completely flat, but you can tell that the moment you pick this up, if you have them side by side compared to the X55, that it is much heftier and you can feel the quality really kind of seeping through with this weight itself. Because it is made out of an aluminum alloy, so this is much higher quality. It still does not get warm. If anything, it stays cooler to the touch because it absorbs coolness a lot easier versus the plastic that doesn't kind of dissipate heat that well. So the metal enclosure does help out when it comes to cooling and making sure that all your devices are staying protected of that fact. But again, in terms of charging speeds and things like that, it does work the same exact way as the X55. You are paying a little bit of a premium, like I mentioned, I believe this one is $65. But again, it includes everything like I mentioned from the previous packaging, right? A case to carry everything in, a 20 watt charging brick, a USB-C to USB-C cable. You just get much nicer rounded edges. The, the fit and finish just seems a little bit nicer. This one also still lays flat, like I mentioned. The Apple Watch Pad still has the probable Apple Watch charger, so you can prop it up or lay it flat if you want to. 
and you can also fold this one up completely so you're able to just kind of have it as a singular puck in order to charge one device at a time which kind of just shows off the versatility of all of these chargers in general but that one is going to be the x40 very premium very high quality i love this one these are the two that i recommend to most people because they fit pretty much every aesthetic they come in black and white they both come with everything that you would need to get started and they are much cheaper than what you see out there and it comes from a trusted brand called kyuksu which again i'll link down below and now the next two I'm going to mention, again, they still bring everything that the other ones bring in terms of the packaging and the actual case and the charger and the charging brick. But now the choice that we're trying to make here is from an aesthetic standpoint. They all charge exactly the same. So you get your 7.5 watts on your iPhone or 15 watts on your Android device. You get fast charging on the Apple Watch with 5 watts and then you get 2.5 watt charging on the AirPods. But this is the X40 Leather Edition and it, it's in the name itself. They added some leather plating on here, which makes it look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. It matches, let's say, if you do have a leather case on it, like an Andar case, it does kind of just fit that mold and fit that aesthetic a little bit nicer it looks great on your desk again it looks a little bit more premium than the other ones it still has kind of like that metal outline and the actual aluminum casing but like i said they do add some leather plates on there to give it a much nicer feel and look at the end of the day but one thing i will say about these two in particular so this is going to be the x40 leather edition and the next one i'm going to mention is going to be the x63 which is the titanium looking one but the x40 leather edition does not fold down completely flush or lay out completely flush but it doesn't lay down completely flush and you wouldn't be able to use your apple watch charger which is a little bit unfortunate in terms of the design. So the way that this one is currently used is either you prop it up into stand mode to, again, give you standby mode and things like that. So you put your iPhone kind of on the forefront, you put your Apple Watch behind there, and then you have a little section down there for your AirPods Pro. And then you can also fold it up, like I mentioned earlier, all the way down to kind of have a single puck and a single charging solution if all you need to do is charge your iPhone at the end of the day. And then the same thing is going to apply for the X63. The X63 might be my favorite form factor because it is nice and rounded. It actually comes in circle pucks versus these kind of squared off pucks. And I love this titanium color. Now, to let you know, these are not made out of actual titanium. It just kind of has this titanium look and color to match the natural titanium of the iPhone. But you're getting the same idea when it comes to being able to lay flat. So it does not lay completely flat as the other two do that I mentioned earlier in the video. Mm -hmm. But this one does still allow you to prop up. It still supports standby mode. You still get the same charging speeds. You would still get the same packaging from any of the other ones that I mentioned earlier before. So again, it's a great incomplete package. These chargers make great gifts. They make great stocking stuffers. I know we're nowhere near Christmas. But if you do have a birthday coming up or maybe an event or something like that where you're gifting somebody something, all of these chargers would be great for anybody looking for a 3-in-1 charging solution. Whether you are just spending the $38 or the $40 for the cheaper X55 or you're spending all the way up to, I believe it's almost $70 for something like the X63 because of the build quality and the build materials, you cannot go wrong with either of them because you get everything you need to get started. It charges your big three like I mentioned. It charges them efficiently. It charges them safely. Nothing gets warmed to the touch and you do have MagSafe magnets on there to keep everything secure. Your Apple Watch can charge very efficiently and your AirPods Pro have a place to kind of just nuzzle in there and also charge themselves. So at the end of the day, I do believe that cheap chargers are actually worth it if you're going with the correct brands and you know exactly what you're getting yourself into. I have seen some three-in-one chargers on Amazon, which are like in the $20 range. I'm going to stay clear of those. And you can see from the reviews themselves that they're sub four-star reviews just because, again, they heat up. They're not well built. They're kind of there as a set it and forget it, but you're probably only going to use it a couple times and then end up throwing it away because you're afraid of overheating and things like that. Versus these chargers, I put it through those paces over the last six months. I've used each one of them equally. I've brought them on trips with me. I've used them in hotels. I've used them at home. I use them even in the car and things like that. And they work extremely well. So it's just a matter of what you want aesthetically and what type of build quality you want because they all charge at the same speed. They all pretty much give you the same form factor. It's just a matter of where well, you want rounded ones, you want squared off ones, you want plastic, do you want aluminum, and everything in between. But that's going to do it for this video, everybody. Let me know in the comment down below what you think. Are you somebody that does have a 3-in-1 charger? Let me know in the comments down below which one you do have. But that's going to do it for this video, everybody. If you want some more product reviews like this, leave a comment down below and mention that. But if you guys want to watch some more iOS, macOS, iPadOS, VisionOS videos, click on one of these right here. And until next time, I'm Fernando, and I'm out of here, everybody. Peace.